What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, This is mainly going to be an update on Tropical Storm Franklin, as I've been looking at some Hurricane Hunter reconnaissance, and I wanted to go ahead and show you what we're potentially looking at right here. So before we get into that, here's the latest update on Tropical Storm Franklin. It is still, according to the National Hurricane Center, winds of 50 miles per uh, per hour, pressure of 999 millibars, moving west at four knots, uh, four miles per hour now, which is pretty crazy. It is about to start taking that northward turn that has been anticipated so far. It's pretty much about to stall out and start taking a hard turn to the north at this point. So this is going to only increase the impacts in the Dominican Republic. We can go ahead and show you the satellite right now. We're already starting to see some thunderstorm activity in the central Dominican Republic near Santo Domingo right here and potentially in Puerto Rico over here. Though I've been looking at satellite that huge minus 80 cloud top ring has been decreasing a little bit, but it is still starting to get, uh, get more and more organized. It is still a bit of a blob, but I am noticing some increased rotation as time continues to go on with this whole system, which is indicative of a strengthening system, and the hurricane hunters have been keeping an eye on it too, but before we get to the, their analysis, we're going to go ahead and give you the latest cliff notes right here. Here's the public advisory. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for the entire uh, southern coast of Haiti and the entire southern coast of the Dominican Republic and tropical storm watches are in effect for the entire northern coast of the Dominican Republic as this thing approaches Hispaniola. A tropical storm watch is in effect for the Turks and Caicos over here, so you guys are going to definitely have to monitor that as time continues to go on. But now we're going to go ahead and show you the Hurricane Hunter reconnaissance that we've been seeing. This is the latest that we have pulled up right here. We can see if we can get another scan shortly, but here's what we have going on. We have a lot of stuff popping up. We have a lot of 45 to 50 knot flight level winds going on, but the amount of SFMR values I've been noticing is quite interesting, actually. We're seeing for pretty much the last 30 minutes or so from the time of recording, I'm noticing a lot of SFMR values, which is basically the estimated surface winds out uh, down uh, down at the surface. They're flying at 5,000 feet or 850 millibars right here. From what I am noticing going into this, there's a lot of SFMR values of around 55 plus knots or so, which would be indicative of a 65 mile per hour tropical storm and not 50 miles per hour. We're seeing at least 20 to 30 uh, SFMR values of over 50 knots. About it's about 18 of those are about or over 55 knots. And we're seeing some that are getting close to 60 knots as well, which is pretty interesting how the NHC is going with this. We're going to have to wait for some drops ins to get in, but I think... Honestly, based off of what Hurricane Hunter Reconnaissance is showing, this system is, as of right now, intensifying at a pretty decent rate, and I'm honestly not that surprised. We're already seeing flight level winds of over 50, of potentially over up to 50 knots right there. We're seeing a lot of stuff go on. New drops and came out near the center of uh, near the center pressures of uh, pressures 1004 where they dropped it. So it's pretty interesting for sure. The pressures of uh, around fluctuating around 999 to 1001 millibars so that's what we have really going on and I wouldn't be surprised if this thing's organizing and intensifying right now for one really good reason the global sea temperatures south of Hispaniola are absolutely warm right here we have a lot of stuff that's going on we have 28 uh, 29 plus degrees Celsius of waters which is about 82 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit of water going on right here uh, south of the, of the Dominican Republic so it's really capitalizing off of that if what I am seeing is correct and what I'm seeing from the hurricane hunters is accurate and the in the ocean heat content again no surprise it's in an area of around 125 to 150 OHC so it's definitely if it is intensifying it is go- taking advantage of those ocean, of those deep waters those very warm waters too and it's also taking advantage of a shear pattern that is actually benefiting the system right now here's what I'm th- talking about basically the shear is mainly to the north of this system right here and it's as it approaches the Dominican Republic it is expected to push further to the north due to a ridge starting to form 
that is only going to be at the system's benefit, primarily because where this out where this shear is, it's actually enhancing the inflow and the outflow of the system, which basically in layman's terms means that this is the shear is actually helping the system get organized. And you can kind of see that a little bit on satellite. We'll go ahead and show you a zoomed out version. You can see how much inflow there is outflow there is right here. That's pretty ridiculous uh, considering what we are, we've been looking at. And that's the shear that's really helping this, really starting to organize. It's that far, it's far enough south to really look at that. So that's a pretty interesting scenario going on. But that's not the only one I am watching. I'm also watching potential tropical cyclone nine over here. Potential tropical cyclone nine has been continued to strengthen. It now has winds of 35 miles per hour. Hurricane hunters are in that too. Pressure of 1,008 millibars, moving west at 16 miles per hour. So it still has a full day left. Uh, to a uh, full day left to, excuse me, stay out to see and develop and organize and all that jazz right there. And I've been looking at hurricane hunters that have been flying into the invest. They found an SFMR valve. They're okay. First of all, they're finding flight level winds of around 35 to 40 knots and SFMR values of over over 35 knots. But the majority of them are around th around 30 to 35. So yeah, it's around. It's still tropical depression strength. But I wouldn't be surprised that if this thing continues to organize and develop the way it's doing, it could definitely get up to a strong tropical storm before it approaches land. And that's a pretty interesting scenario to think about right here. Uh, right here. Now we're going to go ahead and give you kind of the, the track information and the intensity of Tropical Storm Franklin as this is approaching Hispaniola. Track models at, have this thing making landfall in the next 36 to 48 hours in the Dominican Republic, although a few outliers have this thing actually making landfall in Haiti over here. Which I will say, if it does end up doing that, number one, it's going to spend more time over water, and number two, it's going to be detrimental to the people of Haiti over here, as they've had to go through a bunch of through, through a bad earthquake, and there's a lot of mountains and all that, and there's not they're not really in the best living conditions, if you know what I mean. Now we'll show you the intensity runs, which I've been finding pretty interesting. Latest intensity runs have this around tropical storm to hurricane uh, cane strength as this potentially approaches the uh, the Dominican Republic. But after it gets uh, done with the landfall, it is expected to organize further and intensify at least to a Category 1 hurricane as it gets out to sea in those boiling temperatures over there. Now we'll show you some of the hurricane scenario runs we have. We'll show you the latest from the HMON right here. The HMON has, uh, has kind of backed off a little bit on their scenario. They're still potentially calling for a Cat one at landfall near the Dominican, Haiti Dominican Republic border, but it is going to really tear the system apart as this moves through. But then it is expected to reorganize after some time and then develop into that restrengthen into a hurricane as it stays out to sea and not really affect anyone by that point. Next run we are going to go ahead and show you is the H Wharf run to kind of give you a little a bit of a cross check. H wharf is typically the most aggressive run, so take this with a grain of salt. The H wharf has this thing really rapidly organizing, making landfall as a 980 millibar system. But by the time it approaches there, and if we go ahead and take a look at where the strongest area is, there are apparently uh, there are apparently 60, uh, 65 to 75 knot of uh, uh, surface winds right there, and at 850 we're looking at 90 knot, uh, knot winds. So. If we take a look at 850 by itself, this is indicative of a strong Category 1 hurricane making landfall right here in the Dominican Republic. So this is something we absolutely need to pay attention to. And the majority of the model runs I've been seeing have been showing a similar situation. So we'll have to keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.